In other news tonight, a highly anticipated report from the Vatican two years in the making. That report says Pope John Paul II overlooked allegations of sexual abuse and instead believed the denials of then Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. He would later become the highest ranking church official in modern times to be removed from the priesthood. News Nation's Tom Negevin live at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City with more. Tom. Exactly right, Rob. He denied it and the church believed him. Theodore McCarrick served here in New York and as Archbishop in Newark, New Jersey and Washington, D.C. before becoming, as you say, one of the highest ranking officials ever to be removed by the Catholic Church. The report is massive, over 400 pages, and extremely critical, not just of disgraced ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, but of other leading church officials, bishops, even Pope John Paul II, now a saint, for downplaying reports of sexual abuse of children and seminarians. James Grind says McCarrick began abusing him at age 11. While the report itself is powerful, the abuse to me was incredibly heinous and it hurts forever. Grind says he told Pope John Paul II personally during a Vatican visit when McCarrick left the room. It's in the report on page 439. My client, as is alleged in the, one of his complaints, told Pope John Paul II in the 1980s that he was being sexually abused by Cardinal McCarrick. He met Pope John Paul II and he told him face to face. In a statement, clergy abuse victim John Carr says the report is long and a long time coming. I am grateful to Pope Francis who promised this report and those that have worked to help the truth come out. New York's Archbishop Cardinal Timothy Dolan in a statement today expressed sincere and deep sorrow to any who have suffered sexual abuse and the hope that we will one day be able to put an end to this evil and bring comfort and healing to all who suffer. On the Catholic Faith Network saying he believes the report corrects those who believe church leaders knew for decades. Well, that's not quite true. And the, the, um, the report shows that pretty emphatically, that while there were some rumors and innuendo and gossip, there was never any cold hard facts. The report says the archbishop's predecessor, Cardinal Edward Egan, knew, but not before lawsuits filed in 2005 and 2007, alleging McCarrick had slept with multiple seminarians when he was archbishop of Newark, New Jersey. Boston attorney Mitchell Garabedian, whose work exposed child sexual abuse in the Catholic Church, tells News Nation it's a report by a church still slow to criticize itself. This report gives uh, it is evidence that that the Catholic Church is more concerned about their power and influence and finances nationally and internationally than they are about the protection of innocent children. Pope Francis defrocked Theodore McCarrick last year after another Vatican investigation confirmed decades of abuse. He was last known to be living at a monastery in Kansas, although he left there in January. His current whereabouts, unknown. Live in New York, Tom Negevin, News Nation.